The Derrick High G dryer with 4 inch hydrocyclone cluster provides recovery of a large portion of these finds and converts them to a stackable, conveyable, and marketable form. By itself, the High G dryer can remove as much as two thirds of the solids reporting to the ponds, greatly reducing pond cleaning costs and at the same time converting waste into product. Here we see how the high G dryer fits into the typical aggregate flow sheet. In the U.S., we typically see a screw classifier as the last means of solids recovery in an aggregate facility. These classifiers typically produce concrete and masonry sands while the overflow reports to settling ponds. Large diameter hydrocyclones or bucket wheel classifiers will also be seen in place of these screw classifiers. Overflow from the screw classifier is intercepted from reporting to the settling ponds into a feed sump sized with one and a half to two minutes of retention time. This slurry is then pumped to the inlet of the hydrocyclone manifold at a feed inlet pressure of 35 to 40 psi. The radial design manifold provides equal solids, slurry, and pressure amounts to each individual hydrocyclone. Note that each hydrocyclone is fitted with its own Victaulic shutoff so that they may be individually serviced without interrupting flow to the system. The 4-inch hydrocyclone provides a separation of the recoverable solids at about the 38 micron or 400 mesh level. The feed inlet pressure is converted to centrifugal energy causing the heavier solids to discharge out the bottom of the hydrocyclone or apex orifice as underflow. The lighter, finer solids in the majority of water are discharged out the top of the hydrocyclone or vortex finder as overflow. The underflow, discharged at about 60 to 65 percent solids, is collected in a urethane lime collection pan and then discharged onto the screening unit for further dewatering. This diagram illustrates the popper underflow pattern in medium blue to ensure maximum solids recovery and dewatering potential for the screening unit. Operation in this optimum pattern also minimizes wear and plugging potential. The dual motor screening unit fitted with Derek's patented high open area urethane screen surfaces provides the final dewatering function. Typically a 0.5 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter or 25 to 35 mesh opening is all that is required to form a filter cake of solids which collects the recovered fines. This abrasion resistant screen surface typically lasts six to eight months in this application and never requires cleaning. Note that the hydrocyclones make the separation and recovery, not the screening unit. The high G-force linear vibrating action is provided by two Derrick integral vibrators. This high intensity vibration allows for maximum dewatering potential and provides for extremely high tonnage discharge rates. The screen frame itself is designed to withstand these high intensity vibrations and efficiently transfer these forces to the screen surface. The entire screen frame is also coated with 30 mils of high solids urethane for needed abrasion resistance. Here we see the solids being conveyed in a uniform fashion down the length of the screening unit to the discharge of the screen. The majority of the free water along with some solids pass through the screen surface. Typically the solids discharge the screening unit at about 75 percent solids by weight which is a reduction of about 10 to 15 percent from the point of feed on the screening unit. We are looking at a dry solids discharge rate of about 15 to 18 dry tons per hour. The 4 by 10 high G dryer has a discharge potential of approximately 25 to 30 dry tons per hour and can be fed by any number of hydrocyclones as long as the solids discharge rate is not exceeded. Dryness of the discharge cake can be adjusted by simply adjusting the angle of the screen frame from as low as 1 degree downhill to as high as 9 degrees uphill. This adjustment simply changes conveyance speeds and therefore retention time on the screening surface. Most operations run these units between 3 and 5 degrees uphill. The material discharge from the unit is consistently in a stackable and conveyable form. It is impossible for the unit to discharge a non-stackable material as the high open area of urethane screen surface passes the material through the screen openings. 
you can see here that there is very little free moisture available in the discharged solids. Looking at the flow sheet again, we see that the water and solids that do pass through the screen surface report back to the feed sump so that the solids may yet be recovered. This recirculating load only accounts for about 5 to 10 percent of the solids and less than 3 percent of the total slurry feed. The recirculating load also provides the system with its own governing mechanism. When there are no or very low solids being fed to the system, the hydrocyclone underflow material at very low solids potential simply passes through the screen surface and back to the feed sump. The pump continues to circulate the slurry until solids are reintroduced to the sump and the equipment resumes solids recovery. No operators are required to monitor the system. This dual machine installation in Brandywine, Maryland consists of two screening units, each being fed by its own 20-way hydrocyclone cluster. In peak load conditions, each machine may discharge as much as 25 dry tons per hour. Operators on site simply start the equipment in the morning, check for plugged hydrocyclone apexes, and walk away from the equipment for the rest of the day. The recovered material is simply blended into a masonry sand and sold at typical sand prices. Prior to the installation of the derrick units, a pair of slope plate clarifiers were used to concentrate all solids reporting to the settling pond. The solids were then mucked from the pond on a daily basis and hauled off to a nearby land farming operation. The derrick customer is more than pleased with his ability to turn a former waste product into cash. The clarifiers are visible in the lower right hand portion of the screen. Besides the new cash flow to the customer, he has also realized other operational savings. He still uses the clarifiers to recover the ultra-fine solids not recovered by the high dryer system, but at greatly reduced costs. Polymer consumption has been cut in half, and the plugging of solids between the slow plates in his clarifier has been greatly reduced. In addition, his pond cleaning operation only occurs once every three to four weeks as opposed to a continuously. The customer has also reported that the solids are no more difficult to recover than those recovered prior to the Derrick Hygie dryer installation.